So, uh, hi, we are going to start. Uh, first of all, English is not my main language, so sorry. Second of all, this is a crap guide to Final Fantasy XIV mini DPS. I have seen the other two, which is Tanka and Hiala, because I'm main paladin and used to be main white mage, I think. I haven't played a lot. And I used to be also main dragon, so <laughs> this is going to be quite fun. I mean, um, <laughs> so nice to meet you all. Uh, all right. LUNARCON! LUNARCON! <laughs> LUNARCON! Oh. Right, uh, there's LUNARCON. I forgot, of course, about it. Uh, since I'm from the European data center, so I think I have a character in Adamant Choice, so <laughs> let us see if I can one day go. LUNARCON! <laughs> Lunarcon is a free player run in game convention in Final Fantasy XIV and it's happening really soon! It takes place on the Crystal Data Center, so better start yeah. your DC travels now! Because boy oh boy, it's gonna be packed when it happens. The other thing is in Crystal and I'm in jails, so I can't go there. <laughs> Which is so sad because I've seen videos about the other Lunarcon and I was really vivid. I was, fuck, I want to go in, but. My only character isn't in crystal. Damn. <laughs> well, let's go. Happens. But what happens in Lunar Con? Performances, panels, interviews, contests, art parties, role play venues, hang out. Role play when you look <laughs> oh, raid stuff, special guests, Guess. turtle smithy, sly the fox, denmo mix. This guy is the legend for me. <laughs> <laughs> Strong, huge nipple. Rin Karagani. Cheese. Did you know that Chisa is from Poland? So I was vivid when I saw that. Stop. <laughs> Esprit. Stall. Stall is so cute, really. <laughs> Howard giving away copies of Oblivion. What the fuck? <laughs> mine. So Look, this is a, these are the drag team groups Astes and Hans are, are the main reason I started even Final Fantasy XIV. To be honest, I, I was... Uh, how to say it? I was looking at some videos of music and everything. A friend put me, uh, I think, Oblivion? No, Sophia's theme. And I was, oh, this is good. I want to see the fight. And then it came to me when they did the raid, the, the trial stream and I was, oh my god, this game looks so fun I mean, I want to be Cory I want to fucking make my teammates cry <laughs> and uh, actually I became a tank I started as a, as a healer because I was really really lazy like in League of Legends I play support because I'm really lazy and then I was, oh fuck, I want to make everyone scream of agony just like this. <laughs> so imagine that. <laughs> ah, oh my god. Ah, alright. Ah. Some people from Nest. But Nest, Nest, Nest is the reason. Whoops. <laughs> is anyone that had me, make me try Dragoon? Yes. DJ knows how many other things I don't seriously I meant to get this video out like two weeks ago so that I'd promote the event a little bit earlier so that there's enough time for people to prepare but like time got away from me I'm so sorry July 29th to the 31st Luke oh it's two days for me for Say record this. the Info. Fuck, I don't have sub. See you there. <laughs> I don't have sub. <laughs> I want to go there. Always... Alright. Will... Says you should be a team player, but honestly, I've always felt like the best way to help the team is by crushing whatever obstacle that's in the way with my... That's true. <laughs> ...heavily toned squat receipts. So that's it. No more playing for anybody else. I play for me, baby. Any reason the raid wipes from now on is no longer my fault. I... Well, no. That's... That's... That's false. If you die too many times a DPS, it's also your fault because you are wasting the time of the healer and you are making less DPS for the boss so it enrages. So, yeah. I only exist to make big numbers fly towards the screen and watch my skill bar light up like a Christmas tree at a rave party. 
fuck, I, I remember the first time when I was Dragoon and that happened, I was, okay, how many things are there? And then I see, oh my god, there are combos, oh, oh sick, why is this Christmas, oh my god. Your precious patoot, the progress preventers will be promptly pounded because this potent projector of pain will be peppering those pasties. How many pieces? Until your pack is paved with enough resulting pellets that every peddler will pray to be pampered by a more palatable pacifist. <laughs> <laughs> being a DPS is like being the king of capitalism because the way you play, taking care of others is for bitches. Pay no attention to anybody else's well. <laughs> That's so unless it directly affects you, and so long as you're alive and safe, you can act like anything bad that happens around you. Okay. <laughs> it's probably not your fault. I wonder who is that for? <laughs> All that brain power instead will be put towards what really matters. You're complicated as shit damage rotation. Damn, I remember the first time I, I read about the monk rotation. I was, okay, this is not more for me. I saw a ninja and it was, what the fuck is this? DPS is hard, dude. It's, it's, it's actually the hardest thing I've ever seen. So <laughs> that's right. Step aside, tanks one, two, three, and healers two damage buttons. These are where the big guys and gals play. Or at least Except you are samurai fucking samurais do it easily because I got it to level eighty and it's a fucking miss. That's what they like to tell themselves since one of the only party utilities they have to worry about is pressing the faint button one <laughs> I don't press it. I always forget to press it. It's not awful. I never press it. It's a nightmare. Oh my god. It's in a blue moon. Their hot bar will more often have dozens of buttons all dedicated to big damage. The melee DPS is the most Wanna watch me get a wound for a second uptime? Yes, that's true. <laughs> Wanna go watch me do it again? Yes. If you change that for <laughs> UASD, it's completely rubber off. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe throw streets patiently, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember that you know, they told me when I was the first Night Dragoon, I was in the first stream, was fucking Hades, I mean, the dying gasp, and I was, oh, oh my god, and they told me, fucking LB, 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 and I was, what? Yeah. Melee has two DPS, and Melee has to do LBs to and sheer damage because they had the most damage and I was fuck. I also threw the the limit break button and I didn't used to have it because I played healer and the only times I I barely have to use it only in Titan. In on Titan I mean in Eden 4. Normal, not stream. Uh, let me savage. Important person in the party as you are the one on the front lines <laughs> inspecting the bad guy's anus like it's where all the <laughs> Yeah, they, 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 you have to be in the back, both on the sides, and I didn't used to know about uh, positionals because in Guild Wars those I didn't have positionals back then, and in those state I didn't have them, so... <laughs> the enemy sprays of hot poisonous gamer stain. Not only are you going to be up in their grill turning their cheeks into a ripe tomato while flip-flopping in and out of danger like you're a politician making pancakes, you're also <laughs> going to make like an adult film star and learn positionals! Certain attacks yeah. and the damage rotation will require... This fucking thing, I didn't know about it until someone told me. Fire you to land them in specific areas around the enemy target, specifically the rear and the flank, in order to deal additional damage. How do you tell where those positions are? By the massive disembodied titty underneath the target. See this nipple? That's the front where the tank will be sucking on the sweet milkies that are tank <laughs> Why they call it <laughs> Which obviously means this conspicuous ticulus on the opposite end is the rear. What about the flank? That'll be on either side of the enemy. And if you're ever confused as to where each area begins and ends, a useful tip on how to tell is imagine there's a big X dividing each of the quadrants. Or you could just press- That's a good one. I- I remember a friend told me the same way when I was starting to do some raids that you have to put an X so it's always 90 degrees everything. And that's the best way to visualize it because it's a nightmare. And the other thing is if the circle is fully, fully, uh, how do you say it? Fully closed, it means it doesn't have positionals, so you can hit it where you fuck you want, even in the front. <laughs> and I really loved it. Yeah. That's true north and pretend positionals don't. 
That's how you want. Exists like it's an embarrassing memory of that time you did the Gangnam Style at school, unironically. The only time it isn't the case is when the enemy has a full ring without an opening. In which case, yeah, what, what they said, if they have, if they have a full ring, you have to think that there's no positions and it's please. You won't have to worry. I think mm, all the bosses that all the trial bosses that are big that can't you can't go to the back. For example, uh, how do you say? Ah, mm, Leviathan in, in Eden 3 or I don't know who else. Uh, I think it was uh, the fucking birds in Eden. Uh, Zodiac and all of those. Fuck. What about any of that guff and you can just sit there like an off tank who's actually having fun. Otherwise, between hopping back and forth in these two spots and running around catching up to the boss whenever the tank feels like doing cardio, your little wall <laughs> legs are gonna get so much- <laughs> When a tank wants cardio, oh my god, someone told me that I'm- If I'm tilted, I'm fucking running the whole dungeon till the boss and leaving no no time for the killer to the DPS to be attack. Working out that they'll be thick as the milk from the teats of a whale made of molasses. Which is to say, <laughs> expect to move. A lot. <laughs> what if I'm not in the right place for a position or the boss is far away? Just remember the old adage. Always, always be, be casting. That's true. Always be fucking attacking. Even if you're not able to land your positionals, or if the boss is too far away to make a melee attack, be sure to always be pressing your buttons no matter what. Unless you're a monk who has no ranged attack and you <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true, fucking true. So fucking try. I, I remember I left the fucking monk because I couldn't damage from far away and it was a nightmare. Was, okay, in how do I attack from far away? Someone told me when I was in Plants of the Dead. No, you can't. You have to go closer because monks doesn't have fucking ranked. What do I don't have fucking ranked to this? It's just obvious you have to have ranked. Oh no, they are special. But now they have a dash. That's a good thing, I think. I mean... That's good. Right? You have to sit there thinking about how your job will inevitably be reworked yet again in the next patch. However... At least they are not ninja. <laughs> There's another secret epic gamer option that allows you to maximize the DPS you output at the risk of yourself as well as potentially everybody else. But it's usually the healers. This technique is called greed. I... The funny thing for me is called fucking upstyle. The AOE markers in Final Fantasy XIV is that they only ever mark you for damage if you are standing in them the moment they go away. This means that if you're fast on your fingers, you can stand there DPSing the bad guy while soaking in their radioactive orange juice until the very last. <laughs> A second where you backflip out just as the dropkick of doom skims your fuzzy anime hairs and you don't lose a second of uptime. As I said, however, this is a high risk. If your timing is off... I remember when I was not... Oh, that's the same. Alexander. Uh, Alexander uh, Savage. 12. Um, <laughs> I, I was playing Dragoon. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I learned the bad way that the timings, I really need to learn them. And damn, dude, I really loved it because uh, everyone is really freaking out when I was trying to upshine my first time. Yeah, I messed it up so hard. I I think I once got to even as a tank, I still try to upshine, and my healers hate me for that. <laughs> I hate them too. <laughs> <laughs> when you spend just a millisecond too long, you'll be covered in cheese puffs. You might even die. Or in some cases, you'll have to suffer a fate worse than having to read the entire 24-hour chat log of Limsa. <laughs> you don't know because uh, many... Uh, because uh, this is Limsa and they're talking about Crystal and the American... This, that doesn't say, but... Well, we all know that the tree in Limsa is the cam tree. Yeah, cam tree. <laughs> Um, and I used to have good friends from other girls because I usually change girls from time to time when I feel a bit too much into, I mean, addicted to the game, so I change the girls so I don't get too much addicted. Uh, mm, <laughs> we used to do poses and there and do stupid things and call and make him Spanish memes. <laughs> Yeah, the Spanish community in Europe, it's kind of a nightmare. Damage down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's my fucking enemy. That thing? 
that team makes so many wipes. I don't think I will ever surpass that. That much down, my god. <laughs> uh, like uh, I, I remember when I did the first time Adesh, Ades, uh, extreme. Uh, the last phase, they do a lot of damage downs. So <laughs> you can easily fake fuck it up and make it awful and enrage the boss and then fuck. Imagine doing everything right up to this point and then it's oh this is a police everyone damage downs everyone fuck it up everyone dies yeah Shh, it's okay nobody's gonna take away your big damage numbers Papa's here to make sure you don't greed too hard if you're not ready okay okay as the melee <laughs> DPS you also have first dibs on limit break against most bosses since yours except if they are fucking red mage because red mage always want it to take from me. Deals the most damage, specifically when they're single. This is because when you hit the limit break button, you're not actually attacking them. Just showing them pictures of a happy, healthy relationship <laughs> and nothing hurts more than emotional damage. Just ask Ariange. Yeah. But what are these individual <laughs> <individual> jobs? <laughs> fucking Ariange. Poor boy. I mean, I fucking cry from my brother. Whom of which may layeth said up close slappers to thine adversaries. There are five, and each one is a different flavor of anime and edge. Monk, for those of you who want to go fast, having one of the shortest global cooldowns in the game means you'll be dealing out punches like you're a pissed off caterer at a middle school sock hop. Instead of the traditional combos, each attack puts you in a specific stance. Bird, cat, and monkey. <laughs> each one combos into another attack that benefits from each respective stance. Your rotation- Yeah, they are a fucking cycle. I, I had to learn a bit. About them, and it was hard. It'll be all about swapping stances around more than a kid trying sick moves to impress their crush. <laughs> <out of their group. laughs> You Fuck that mean. Challenge, which allows you to go freestyle and pick whichever stance you're feeling more at the moment without having to do any of the normal stance setup. If you repeat the same stance three times during your freestyle, you get a purple token on your stylish moves punch card. And if you do three different stances during the freestyle, you get a white one. Do a freestyle with three unique moves one more time while you have both a purple and white tokens on your punch card and you get to turn it in to make your crush dripping wet with damage because for some reason you get to kick them in the oh. face. The only problem... I didn't know about that because I left my fucking one can level 60. Because you are the only melee without a ranged attack to keep your uptime. And although you do have a dash that lets you zip around like Goku on a triple shot ristretto down blend macchiato, if ever you find yourself without a target to punch during combat, you can call timeout on your buff so they stop moving while you have a little cry because your crush rejected you at the middle school side. Uh. <laughs> Dragoon is probably the most straightforward of the melee classes and the one most likely to have a tragic backstory. You've got a five button combo that swaps between hard slaps and sakura flowers and a handful of buffs that will turn anybody else in the party into your partner in dragon Sla Uh, I don't know how it's Dragoon in in it woke up because I only left it to Saddle Ringos. But fuck. Wait, what kind of dragon slaying? That's up for you to I would like dragon slaying in in, in the weird way. <laughs> In the hard way. Have plenty of time to do while you're suspended 20 moms in the air dropping in like a scantily clad <laughs> uh, The funny thing is that you have so many jumps you can get out and then go up and uh, done then done done. <laughs> I really loved it. It's like fuck <coughs> Ah! <laughs> it made me laugh. Uh, yeah, but dragon, that's the thing. That's my, that's my babe. I, I was main dragon for a while, and then someone tell me, please play anything but dragon, because I kept uh, jumping onto them. Got a date with Nidhogg at 5 and a party at the quicksand at 6. Yes, the Matanga in the room. Dragoon has several damage dealing jumps necessary to unlocking special attacks in their rotation that will lock you into an animation, which means you're stuck and unable to move out of your- Yeah! <laughs> I hate that. Your location while the boss is just about ready to piss all over the floor <laughs> like cleaning down. So be wary True. when using your jumps, lest you fling yourself right into a danger puddle and perpetuate the tired singular joke the 14 community has for the class. I mean, fucking- <laughs> It's true, I mean, tank the floor. On the bright side though, you do get the objectively best job mentor in the form of <laughs> The best boy. It's great for people who enjoy American football, because for every 10 seconds of excitement, there's a minute of fuck all. Your rotation is all about fitting every goddamn cooldown you can into a small window of time where you make the enemy take more damage. And on top of that, you also have the ability to live out every weeb's dream and do a bunch of hand gestures to cast magic attacks and also drop down into a... I mean, and they do the Naruto Ram, so... ...position and run with your arms flopping behind you in the breeze, which Final Fantasy objectively proves makes you go faster. You got three hand symbols, and depending on what order you do, you will make a different kind of anime reference. And to be honest, if you have dyslexia, this is the worst nightmare. And 
people do macros. A friend told me that people do macros to actually do this. For example, going chi tenjin tenjin chi chi jin unlocks a secret dark ending of Cory in the house, causing <laughs> the enemy to be susceptible to bonus damage. But maybe you're facing a mob of enemies who are immune to a rank powered life form, so you'll instead have to go tenjin jin chi jin chi jin ten chi jin ten chi for three seasons of Sonic Underground, which will kick sand into their eyes with how fast they're running circles around the slow pokes. More or less, you'll have to do some studying up on what combos do what. But here's a secret cheat sheet. Oh, the final mudra in this sequence matters. <laughs> fuck, it's the skill. Oh fuck, that's true. I friend told me that, and I was oh oh really? And I say yeah, only the last one matters. That's the fun thing. More police, cheese it. Samurai, the job most likely to have a dick measuring contest with a black mage. I'd be careful though, their dad works at Square Enix. This weed is the most selfish of the melee, as it provides no utility for the rest of the party and instead acts like the average soccer player, focusing on being the star of the show who gets all the attention, especially when it drops to the floor clutching its knee when somebody sneezes on them. Your attacks contribute to a kink bar, which allows you to shame the enemy in a variety of ways, as your katana is also a substitute for a horny bat. So you remember how the monk has a punch card? Well, so do you, except yours is your sword and the punches are stickers. You have three basic combos, each one giving you a slight buff and slapping a sticker onto your katana. And depending on how many stickers you have, huh? you'll get one of three different rewards when you turn in your sticker sheet. With one sticker... Yeah, that's the... that's the... The one that makes damage over time. You'll apply a dot that'll last longer than it takes to clean your room. Don't yeah, dot? I know a majority of my audience has depression. Two stickers will charge up an AoE around you. And that, that's good for the, the second one. Uh, the first one, I use it always at the first starter. The second one is when there are mobs in a dungeon. Three and this one is... <laughs> okay... Okay... <laughs> what the fuck? <coughs> what? It's three attacks. Twin, 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 no, twin, twin. Good, okay. Each sticker attack also gives you an additional separate sticker. And once you have three ah. of those, you get to do an additional. <laughs> Why? And finally, the Reaper, the transfer student from Garlemald who got the rest to maul at the fact that they think they're better than the rest of the melees. Which I mean they are, but don't let any Reaper hear you say that. It'll go to their heads. Being. <laughs> the darkest and edgiest of. Yeah, this is for the emo boys, boys that like love Sasuke instead of Naruto. Melees means that your job gauge is the Dark Souls HUD. Similar to the samurai, you build up a bar that can be spent on big slaps. And those big slaps give you edgy boy points that can be spent on additional big slaps. Except this time, they're coral blue number 5 semi gloss lipstick. Once you've kissed enough boys to build up your fashion bar, you get to turn into a spooky ghost! Ah, oh, ah, uh, alright, this route. You do the slice. You do the spooky slice. The spooky slice. Now your sweets have some spice. You do the slice. It's just your soul that's the price. You do the slice. You do the spooky slice. And now you know how to play melee. You're welcome. For the northern snowflakes have healed so bad. Uh. <laughs> okay, that some slaps. Really. Uh, but that's the thing. All right. Uh. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving for this. Dude. Oh, well, that's for it today. I, I might go and get you to do the rest. When I feel like it. <laughs> oh my god, this is so much. I really love this guy. This is the guy that actually talked me about ninjas and dragons, so... <laughs> oh my god. I, th that's true about many things he says, but... I mean, I don't know if Reaper... I haven't played Reaper. I played Dragoon. So... <laughs> uh, oh my god. I might think about Lunarcon. Bye. Let's get it.